Guys, and welcome back to the Fans Perspective. And that's right, another week, another match day, another match day vlog. And in today's video, we're all the way down at the Vitality Stadium in Bournemouth to watch Bournemouth versus Burnley. Now, we're only aware today, so it should be a good game. But at the end of the day, it's the two teams that can realistically switch places at the start of next season. We've got the away side, Burnley, which are top of the league, five wins all about. Vincent Company is working his magic. And uh, one of the wins was actually against Stoke, which we went to. Look at the goal here, it was rather scrappy. The home side, however, they're stuck in 16th place in the league, four losses in their last five games. Their only win being a comfortable win against Everton, who are also in terrible form with Frank Lampard. I'm here with Tyler and at Finn today. So firstly, Tyler, what is your score prediction? It's going to be 4-2 to Burnley. 4-2 to Burnley. And this is Finley Dalton. Oh, I think it's going to be 3-2 to Bournemouth. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I think there's going to be goals. I'm going to go with a 3 1 Burnley win. I did a few polls, one on Twitter, one on YouTube. Oh, Both of them comfortably said Burnley would win. And then again, you've got the bookies odds, which are more favourites of Bournemouth, probably because they're a Premier League side. I'm looking forward to it. If you do enjoy these videos, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you know when the video goes live. Yeah, it might be a bit more shaky today because they did take my tripod. Only happened once to me before, which is annoying. But yeah, my friend, we're, we're underneath the ground. Let's get to the stand. Go on, the town! I might be here, but Mr. Thumbnail himself can't be. So let's move over to Big Ted's prediction. Today I am thinking Burnley will win 2 0. Bye. The Lions a little bit more talent than I expected in this cup tie. We've got Bournemouth with the likes of Cook, you've got Solanke, you've got Billing, a decent little spine in the team, and then Burnley, you've got Gumunt. Uh, Good Munson, you've got Barnes, you've got Cullen, you obviously got the goal, Brownhill, a lot of strong players on the pitch. I'm expecting a quality of a ball from both sides, but obviously, I really want their away side to win, don't we? Still sticking with 3 1. About 15 minutes to kick off. Those are the lineups, as always. And yeah, let's get to kick off. Go on, Stadium around. They sing from the projector, and then as you say, stand up one by one. Stand up and sing. This is a dodgy place. They're waiting place. for the commentator to ask them to make some noise. That is fucking pathetic. This is a dodgy club. Is it? It's another one in the 92. Jigs off. Good turn up for the away fans, didn't they? And Matt, they've had to travel to get here. Just hoping for a good game. Come on, Burnley! The only Burnley fans watching this, I know I'm a Cheltenham fan, but like Burnley is a club that's very close to my heart. Sean Knight is a great man, even though he's gone. Vinny Company, what a player he was, and what a manager he is. He's working his magic. Hopefully, he can work his magic today, but it's Gallagher. proper shot so far or a massive chance it's box to box football so if it carries on like this should be a good game <laughs> what a goal power taking play brought from Bournemouth decent finish keep it ready to be doing better God. who are ya who are ya who are ya it carries on like this goes down the other end five minutes in Burnley are winding up Come on! It's wonderful! I want to be in that club! It's wonderful! Poor defending, I didn't get it because I thought the keeper had it constantly. He's messed around with it in the box and the defender just passed it straight to Ryan Christie. 1-0, terrible. They don't get a positive result from this game. They are really the victim of their own downfall here. It's just the mistakes when they lose the ball. Other than that, they're dominating it. Burnley 
dig himself a hole, pass around the back, and the keeper's got it again. Oh, luckily, he hasn't given it away that time. But no, it's, it, the weather is definitely affecting this game. Strong wind, strong rain. Something's going to go bad soon or later. Hope these boys may be getting results out of the play, but they've got to be careful because they, they seem to be slipping into their forms against Stoke, and that really not was up to the shape that they usually play. And it was a scrappy goal they got in the lead. Yes, they have scored a decent goal, and it was a mistake they made it 1 0, but it's only half an hour play. A lot can happen in 60 minutes. <laughs> straight to Burnley but they had a lot more composure one two passes he had an opportunity to the shot shoot I think it was Brownhill pass across the box easy tap in 2-1 Burnley the away side of winning five minutes left to go in the hour what an away fans go on don't know there are diddums Anastalori on the score sheet again, his second of the game. The first will be a lot simpler on that one. That was some great skill for the second goal. But they chat his name all the time. He chatted all the time with Stoke. And he's proven it today. What a performance. And they've got another chat. On the, in a very tight area, he's in a phone box there, he had five defenders around him. Free kick on the edge of the area for Bournemouth, can they pull one back? Hopefully not from the Burnley end. That is it, then goes 45 minutes played, absolute dominance from the away fans. A little bit of a moment of madness for Bournemouth's goal, but I don't think Company will be complaining. 3-1 lead at half time against a Premier League club, it's very, very good for Vincent Company. He's doing absolute wonders for Burnley. I won't really change what's going to the second half. Like I said, it's only mistakes on the reason why they can see it in and out, mainly because of the weather as well. I think they'll be very confident going to the second half. I can't wait to see what comes up. It was a bit of pinball in the box. Dominic Solanke is there to tap it in. He's a great striker, but at the end there he knew it was coming. 3 2. Burnley still have the lead. They've got to have composure. They've been playing pretty well uh, passing around the back, but it's just simple mistakes. You can't keep doing that. And uh, yeah, I guess we'll see how the game goes. Three minutes into the second half, it's not looking too good. Oh, is that close to his hat trick? To be fair, Bournemouth have started this game, they've had passion, they've had desire, and Burnley have just had to take the scraps. But it's this man, number 19, he's taken the game by the, by the horns. He should have his hat trick, what a save! Come on, Burnley! Cheltenham are losing, but are you happy to be here? No. no. It's a terrible ground, but what a game of football. Up the Burnley. This is the team. How has that not gone in? I can't believe I've seen six goals, and I'm shocked that I haven't seen seven. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. 
three minutes left. This game's been jam-packed full of action. I'm about to get rid of some clips, but otherwise it'll be a 20-minute video. I'll be honest, it's a terrible ground for Tim Bot Stadium. I hope that's terrible. But I've met a few new people. And yeah, I'm definitely going to turn from as soon as I can. Obviously, Finn and Tyler out. Sadly, I haven't yet. But come on, you got a lot of Burnley. Soft spot in my heart. Three minutes left. Port 2 should have this comfortably in the bag. Just quickly, on Clap, I do apologise for the late upload. I, the game is about to finish, and I've got like a three hour drive home. And then I've got to start editing. Don't even think about eating. Channel comes before food. Is it then, guys? You can see in the back, Tyler, fair play, mate. You got the score Man right. Many talents, didn't I? Man of many talents. Cheltenham obviously didn't win today. Classic Cheltenham, another loss on the road. But it was a good get. It was a good video today. A good game. Six goal thriller. It wasn't a very good ground, though, was it, boys? It was shocking. Shocking. It was Tim Bot home fans, but the away oh, fans were good. Off. It was nice points. What do you rate the pie out of 10? Give it a 7. Give it a 7. I'll, I'll give it an 8. I'll give it an 8. An eight. So the, it, the bottom ruined it. The bottom ruined it. A bit hard. Alright, so hard. they got good pies. They got good parking. The, the football is a little bit of a mess. But it was good performance from the away fans. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Sorry about the late upload, obviously. It's a long drive home. And then i got to start editing. But I'm going to leave you. Because obviously you've got to get home. So if you do enjoy these videos, smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. So you know when the video goes live. And uh, yeah, for all of us here. I'll see you guys in the next one. Yeah. See ya.